So now we get to circuit diagrams. Circuit diagrams give us a basic view of electric circuits, kind of like this one here. And it uses symbols to represent each of the components in the circuit, and then it shows the connections between those components. So what type of components are we going to be working with in Physics 1? Well, we'll have our voltage source, also known as battery. We've got things like capacitors and resistors. And then we have wires that are used to connect those things. So for our voltage source, you're typically going to have a symbol that looks kind of like this. And it doesn't matter whether it's oriented vertically or horizontally. The one thing you want to keep track of is that there's always a longer side, which is the positive side. Your diagram may not show that little plus sign on it, but you still know which one's the positive side because it's going to be the longer line. So the negative's the shorter, the positive's the longer line. Sometimes you'll see a symbol like this, which can be used to represent multiple batteries. So you can think of it as one where I've got a negative to positive and then another negative to positive lined up with it. Then we get to our capacitors. And our capacitors have a very similar symbol. But you'll notice that I've got both sides being the same length. So if you're hand drawing these, you need to be careful that your capacitors have the same length and that your voltage source definitely has one line that's longer. And again, it doesn't matter whether it's horizontal or vertical. If you've got a circuit that's got multiple capacitors in it, we generally label them things like C1, C2, and C3. Then we move on to resistors. And here's our standard symbol that we're going to be using for the resistor. Again, it can be vertical or horizontal, but in this case, I've got a zigzag line. Now you may see some circuit diagrams that have an alternate symbol. This one's more common in Europe, I'm told. And again, if I've got more than one resistor in a particular circuit, they'll generally be labeled with an R and a number if there's more than one. Now wires are just shown as lines. And so a line that connects different components is going to be sort of an ideal wire that we have going between those two places. So that's our basics for circuit diagrams so you know how to read and draw these things.